Designing your very own camper would be pretty amazing. Unfortunately, that's much too expensive for most people to do. If you have some construction and computer skills though, you can actually build your own. That's exactly what this Reddit user named You Lose the Game to New York did. He decided that he wanted a teardrop style trailer that he could tow with his car. By building it himself, he would save quite a bit of money and it really would be an awesome story. Check out how he did it below. He sketched out the design on the computer so he could visualize something while building. He started out the project by purchasing a trailer hitch. Once it arrived, he started assembling it in his garage. He added a tongue and an exterior. Once that was done, he could start building the actual camper. Tony started by assembling the whole floor with cavities that would house insulation. He added insulation which is a must in any camper. It can get unexpectedly cold at night in many places. The walls were next. He cut out all the places that were needed based on his original design. The holes he cut into the walls were then filled with more insulation. He was finally ready to attach them to the trailer and thankfully they fit perfectly. Definitely one of the cooler things I've seen in a teardrop trailer. The back opened up into a kitchenette. The ceiling came next and he decided to go with a Baltic birch for this part of the build. Foam spray insulation filled in all the cracks of the frame. This thing is ready for any kind of weather. Making sure all the wiring was in its proper place, Tony added the outer skin to the frame. Windows and a door were added along with a checkered floor pattern. These thin aluminum plates were wrapped around the entire trailer. They are only held on by the trim which allows them to expand and contract when the temperature changes. And just like that, she was finished. The inside held a big bed. One end of the bed has a good amount of storage for anything you might need. I seriously love this kitchen in the back. This thing is ready to go anywhere he can imagine. I absolutely love the amenities this guy was able to fit inside this small package. The only thing it doesn't have is a bathroom and a shower. It can go almost anywhere your heart desires. And the full kitchen means you'll never have to settle for fast food all the time. This is one build I'm definitely going to attempt someday.